Well, hello, Shoreline members and friends of Shoreline. Uh, this is your Wednesday devotional uh, for February 24th, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 8. And we're just seeking to grow our hearts and our minds in the wisdom of God, and that wisdom that leads to actions that honor Jesus, that bring glory to God. So listen to these words from the, the end of Proverbs chapter 8. We'll begin in verse 32. Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise, and do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. This is wisdom speaking, saying you're listening to me, you're listening to wisdom, you're hanging out by my doorway. Verse 35, for those who find me, find life, and receive favor from the Lord. But those who fail to find me, harm themselves. All who hate me, love death. It's a pretty strong ending. Uh, really, Proverbs is talking about wisdom, and wisdom is, is almost personified like this, this woman who's speaking truth and inviting us to walk in wisdom. And so this, so this voice of wisdom speaks and says, do you want life? Do you want health? Do you want blessing? Know wisdom. Understand it, and then follow it. Do you, do you enjoy death? <laughs> do you not want to be blessed? Do you want to walk outside of God's favor? Then just Ignore wisdom. Walk away from it. I want to encourage you to do, to do so. If you haven't started doing this already, I want to encourage you for the next 30 days to read one chapter of Proverbs a day. So start today with the day of the month. It's the 24th. So read the 24th chapter of Proverbs. Continue through the end of the month. And then, and, and, and when you get to the end of the month, because we're in February, you get to the 28th, you get to read 29, 30, and 31. Catch up on those ones. Then jump in on the 1st of March. Jump over to Proverbs chapter 1. And if you're already doing your own Bible study, something else where you're studying the Scriptures, that's wonderful. Keep doing that. But just add to it. First thing in the morning, in the evening before you go to bed, just read a chapter of Proverbs. It'll, it'll take you about four to six minutes. But as you read that chapter, say, God, what, God, what's your wisdom? What do you want to teach me? How would you shape the way I live? I want to pray for you, that you would pursue wisdom follow God's ways, and experience the blessing and the favor of God as you do that. Lord, this is our prayer, that we would walk in life, and that we would find your favor, and that we would understand your blessings because we are learning your word and understanding wisdom and following what you say. Lord, we all need this, the counsel of your word. And Lord, protect us from the folly of pursuing whatever we want that isn't in line with your word. Keep us from, from walking in things that lead to death and lead to damage in our lives and the lives of others. Lord, un uncover the truth of your word in our hearts. Let us learn your wisdom and let us follow your leading every step of our day, every step of our life. We pray for the glory of Jesus. Amen. Well, I hope to see you in worship uh, this Sunday. We are going to be uh, studying and digging into the life of Elijah. And it's going to be a, going to be a, continue to be a great study as we look at look at stories of courageous faith. If you want to join us on campus, be sure you go online and register. If you're going to be in your car or in the courtyard, if you're going to be online, we'll see you at nine or eleven online. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you Sunday at worship.